Hello and good afternoon. Right, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to just move some of this stuff uh, that I don't really need at the point. Right, what I was doing here, I was preparing this to uh, to mount. I was preparing this to mount this and uh, which has given me speaker sockets and a five pin din and I'm going to drill that out to give me another five pin din so that's for that so I'll put that in there so it doesn't get lost and I actually broke the front here but I've managed to glue that back and sort it so once the amps in you never know anyway so I'll move that over there on the way and that's a bit of trim that we're going to need and if I can just make a bit of space here somewhere scrape all this crap, move this, that amplifier can stay there but, oops yeah that amplifier can stay there, that's out of the way put the stuff I'm going to need leave out uh. all this crap now just because we've had sawdust on here where I've drilled some holes just Give this a and these metal flakes. Get rid of all that lot. There we go. Right, what we're gonna do this afternoon? I thought we'd service this. The Garrard one thousand. Uh This is the Gallard, uh, sorry, Gallard 3000, my mistake. Uh, I seem to have bent the stylus. I've just bent it out of position. We'll be putting a new one in anyway. So, we'll be, be, be putting a new one in it anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. Uh, this is actually... It moves to there, won't move any further, we all know what causes that. We should by now, if we don't we have a problem. So what we'll do, we'll get the the record player stuff down, that we, the grease and stuff that we need, and the oil that we need for servicing the IPA, that we need for servicing the turntables. Uh, I'm just going to check the idler. Does move back. The speeds all move. What used to be a sticker there that I'll polish off. Uh, automatics don't work. You expect that on these. Um, so what we'll do? We'll start by taking the clip off and waiting for Mildred to come round with a hacksaw, uh, with a jigsaw. Take that out so I don't lose it. Take this clip off. These are supposed to come off a certain way so that you don't. I'm trying to do it without taking. Let's see if I can find something small. There we are. Let me get that under there. And no. Let's get it out. I might have to take the beauty ring out. There we are. Let's take it out anyway. There we are. 
and we'll push that back in when we need to. Right, so what we'll do, we'll lift the turntable clear, put the bits off it in there. We're not going to take the cartridge out because it's one of them sonotone ones. The idler feels good, so we're not replacing that. Although we are going to remove it for service. Considering they spent years in a shed, it's not doing bad. We need this other fibre washer. Because if I don't get it off, I'll end up, I'll end up losing it. Because it'll just slide off, so we've got to get it off. And that's stuck on. And that's stuck there fast as well. So... So what we'll do, we'll, we will heat up, I don't know where me, where's my solder gun? Where are you solder gun? Oh, there it is, we might lose a couple of cameras with plugging this in, but of the interference it's causing it so we're not bothered what we do we just you know, let's turn on there we are yeah and I think we've lost no we've not lost anything yet turn this one round there we go But we have to get this off because we don't want to damage it. And that's but no, no way they're gonna move. I mean they're always seized up those. And these are as well, these actuation poles here, they're always seized. We're getting there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, I don't usually, but I'm going to give it a little bit of WD-40. Give that a bit as well. it can work its way down and I think we've lost a camera now lost two cameras never mind Let's get them back in a minute because that will run down there you see See the whole lot's turning. We started to warm up there. The whole lot's turning. I 
Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. We don't want a whole lot turning. Are we getting anywhere with that yet? No. Deal with that in a minute. I mean, getting the turntables off is easier. It would have been easier with my heat gun. The whole lot's turning. And I don't want the whole lot turning. expecting to find a hole. That's hot. That would have worked down there, but it won't work on there. Wonder if I can pop that back on. No. Oh well. worth a try. At least this is hot. See Don't need the I just need Six, that's as high as it goes.
Now well, we're up to temperature. Is that one there moving? Yeah, that one's starting to. Let's get the screwdriver. And just get under there and see if there's any movement. go. Let's try a bit of the switch cleaner. That normally goes that finds its way down. WD40 doesn't want to work. Don't see why this should. We'll try. starting to get warm. Feels as though it's a bit looser. I don't want to pry it. It's still moving. It's all turning. See, look at that, it's all turning. I can do it, all I can do is just let it eat up. There's nothing else I can do. I mean that's hot there. This thing is all this gear this this gear is red hot. to do yet. Yeah. I mean this is hot now. Just leave it on there, see if I can because we're not gonna be able to twist it off. There's a whole lot's moving. There we are. There's 
There we go. Done it and no damage. And that there is all seized as well so we'll get that on there now. We'll see, we'll unsee that. And then we'll sort out our cameras. How's that? There, yeah, that's started to free off. Let's get my pliers. See if that'll turn. We'll put a bit of WD on that just to break up the oil. We will be cleaning it. There we go, just a little bit, only a little bit. There we are. Well, what we'll do, we'll clean all that and that'll all get lubricated. So let's put this back in the shoe for a second. Empty that. Let's take these clips off, take this clip off here. See, we've managed to get that and we've not, uh, we've not loosened that at all. It's still perfectly tight. So what we'll do now, we'll take this off and we'll, now that's loose, but not as loose as it should be, because we'll not get that out still, oh we might. Let's see if I can just press down with the pliers and just nip it out because it sometimes works doing that because it's it is heated up. You normally just press them out. There. Yeah. There we go. Right. So what we'll do next, we'll we'll get some WD-40 going on that motor. We'll spray a bit in there. Only a bit. That spray the bottom bearing. There we go. Now we'll get the screwdriver. We can turn this off now. Get the screwdriver, and we can take the bottom bearing. We can take the the bearing out. And that's good. the good thing about these. There we go. Yeah, this has been. This is this this this, this there. Look at that. It's the bottom one that's jammed on. It always is. There's the. Oh, I hope it hasn't broken. What it's done there? Oh dear. It's pulled. No, oh. it's pulled that right off. There's the bearing thing there. Luckily, they clip back together. Now, there we go. That comes off there. That comes off of there. And the top bearings are okay, they always are. And luckily they clip back together. So what we'll do, we'll get the IPA and the cotton buds. If we can find the damn cotton buds. No man, we've got a new pack. We'll break them open. We'll get the new pack open because we can't feel see where the other ones are. We'll get them open. And what we'll do. We'll 
sorry about the now let's get the other cameras sorted out let's get rid of this solder gun drop that down there for now let's get the camera sorted out so we want Three. And two. Now, we'll go to camera four. We'll bring camera four over to here. And I'll show you how we sort this out. Now, pulling this apart wasn't really the best idea. But unfortunately, I had no choice, it just happened. Didn't know it was going to do that, but it did. Let's stand that up in my cup. Clean all this out of here, all this detritus, and get that nice and shiny, ready for that's good. Now we we'll use the same cotton bud because there's no point in wasting them to just clean the crap. bearing there we go now we pop that back that's the sponge and we'll pop the bearing back in that's the sponge and there's no metal cap or anything, it's just this. But which way does this go on? It goes uh, didn't know didn't help me pulling it off really, but this goes back in. Where's my green pliers? Because it does go that way, and I have to bend it down like so. Bend it down. And that's it. Let's clean. Easier than that because there's nothing really on it. Clean the shaft. Well, that feels clean. Right. What we'll do next, we shall give it some oil and we want to fill the foam pad up. So we'll put a bit of oil down the centre and then we'll put a bit around the edge. There we are. And that will fill the foam pad up. So it will last for a lot of years. And they need to because nobody ever lubricates them. That's why they go dead dry like that because nobody ever lubricates them. And I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that with all that oil on it. So where's the, there it is, now, this one had the earths on it, it goes here, 
The Earths weren't connected, by the way, but they will be. But they will be when I when I do this. All, it'll all be Earthed. It'll be correct and everything. I've put the amp to one side so I can do this, and once I've done this, oh, I'm going to just lift you up. There we go. So. So what we're going to do now, we're going to tighten the main bearing, the bottom bearing back up onto the motor. See, the motor doesn't have to come out to do this job. Check that moves. It's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Just check. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just get a bit of oil down the front bearing. We'll oil the front bearing, we don't need to take it off to do that because we can get to it. Put that there a minute. A little bit of oil. There we are. Let that run down. Because remember we threw some WD-40 down there. And we don't want WD-40 as a lubricant. That was only to free it all off. We want a, we want a lubricant as a lubricant so now what we're going to do now what we'll do we'll bring you back down put that back on its head a minute you can sit there we'll bring you back down and what we'll do we'll clean our main gear and we'll also clean our actuation pole so we'll do that and then we can get there are all the bits for that This will work perfect once it's been done, which is what we ought to achieve, the working mechanism. I mean this spent years in a shed, so <sighs> of course it's not going to work and you shouldn't expect it to either. I mean, let's clean this all out here, just show you that. Can I just focus in a bit better there? That's it. Ow! A tooth dug into my finger. There, that's clean. Now, let's get another cotton bud. Don't use the same one for every job. These actuation poles on the garage are actually better than the BSRs because they, what we'll do, we'll put a little bit of oil on there and that's all we need to lubricate, that's it. Let's 
take a bit of that off because I'll need all that. There we go. Right. Slip that into. Slip that into there. Look at that now. Perfectly free. Which is how it should be. You don't want any binding on this. Any binding on this. And your records will stick. <laughs> and when you do a service. Whoops. Try not to drop my pliers. When you do a service. It's always best. To clean this actuation pawl get into the habit of doing it as part of the service that's on that's perfect that then the top piece the top piece goes in first there like that and then just slides on to the main Whoops. He says. There we go. Perfect. You can normally push these on by hand, but sometimes they don't go, so we'll try this one. There we are, that one went. And that's it. That's that's that clean. So what we'll do next. We'll clean, that's all nice and lubricated now, the motor's all nice and lubricated now. Just check that motor, oh yeah I'm happy with that. Take this out, they are going to be cleaned. There we go. Oh, pardon me. Um, next job is to clean this assembly here and that's, that's as clean as we're going to get it and look at that dirt on that you do put grease on these, that's why there's slots in it for the grease to sit in. And I'm hoping that's the Mildred. Hello, Mr. Mildred. Yes? Right. No, my blades are, I think they're, what do you call it? I think they're, uh, I'm not sure what my blades are. I've got a jigsaw here that works. Right, I've got a blade with it, but it's not, it's not so good. Right, I'm well, it only has to go through chipboard. Well, I think it's a bit, but I don't think it'll go through it. I'll bet you it's rushed to chipboard. Right. Well, it, well, I'll tell you what, if you don't mind, I'll just get it off and I'll go through chipboard, I think. Okay. Uh, the push and turn ones, you know what I mean? Yeah, one of them jigsaws you got the other week out of that skip. Then what? I thought you got a load the other week out of a skip. Well, you no, you told me there was a skip full of jigsaws. Yeah, there was. Jigsaws that you put together. Oh, jigsaw puzzles. Yeah. Oh, right. No, I didn't. I thought you meant saws. I'll have a quick look in my shed here now, because it'll pop through at the front to see if there's any in there, but I'm not promising any. I mean, I've got two. I can't find them. Well, you've got two gifts, though, don't you? I know I have. I can't find me eat gun either. Right, all right, then. I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit, Mildred. Right, bye. Bye, mate. Right. 
So what we need to do next is clean clean this Is that you? Yeah, can you do this washing for Laura and Andy? Yeah When? Today She doesn't want it today, she wants it on Monday Right, we'll put it in the kitchen, do me a cup of coffee I had to leave mine, my, mine's gone stone cold Well that's not my fault, you can't blame me for everything Yeah Well make yourself another one And you can have a caramel wafer right. Or a Kit Kat I'll put it in, oh brought you your I brought your underpants back as well, two pair of underpants in Laura's bag. I told you, I told you my underpants were going down. Pardon the expression there, folks. Yeah. Yeah, my underpants are going, yeah, there's a bit of a joke in there somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, my underpants are going down. I knew there was a couple of pairs missing. But this has to be, let's get you on what I'm doing. This has to be mm. clean. And this is one of the older uh, ones, the later ones are plastic. Because like everybody else, Garrard were feeling the pinch. And they were starting to penny pinch. So a lot of the old bit, a lot of the bearings, a lot of the later ones, and that's clean. I'm happy with that. Let's give the give the thrust washers a clean. I'll just wipe them on my shirt because it's going to be changed anyway in a bit. There's a clean thrust washer. This grease on here is not too difficult to get off. There we are. And just wipe that bit out of the out of the centre because we don't want that all over the spigot. Well, the spigot's that bit there, folks. Uh, that bit there. Give me a yeah, give me a jump bone. Yeah, and that's your spigot. Now, what I do, I put these back on upside down. Although somebody's already thought of that with this one. This one's been turned over at some point. Oh well. That one hasn't. Yeah, somebody's. And there's a little, don't forget, there's a little rubber o ring on the bottom which is on. I didn't take it off, which is in there. And that, and that little rubber o ring is for to help with rumble. I mean, some people call these Rumble City, and I disagree. They're not. They're actually, once they're serviced, they're actually quite good. Put that one on. There we go. Let's put a bit of grease in our gear. We don't want too much, and we don't want any on the actuation pole. Put a bit there. A bit there. There we are. Drop a bit of oil on top of our cam follower. There we are. Just one drop, we'll do it. And just mop up that excess there. Just Cloth. 
I told you, I told you, some underpants missing, didn't I? Oi, I told you I was some underpants missing. Yeah, free pair. Yeah, I know because I know I know because they were going down. <laughs> Bad no, I've got my dad's underpants here. Well, I, 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 I hope she hasn't had them round her house. The job has not been wearing them for work, has it? Ew. <laughs> what do you want, Kit Kat? I know I'll have a I'll have a couple of caramel wafers. And bring me a banana. I'll have a banana as well. Hey? I don't know, can you have a banana? Yeah, I have a banana. I just want to just wipe this here, but not wipe the lubricant off. Yeah, there is, there's another packet of them. In the top of the cupboard. No, there's not, there's another pack. Oh, have they gone? Oh, I only bought two packs, did I? No, I only, I only bought two packs. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll have to have a Kit Kat then. See, that's all turning that, and it shouldn't. That's. I'll take straps out of four, Andy. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll take him out of four, you give me three. Right. Because it's too long for nine o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. Caramel, it was the last of caramel this morning. Right, alright. I'll put the thing in the uh, in the washing machine, Andy, just when it's switching on. I'll do it in a bit. She doesn't need them till Monday. Yeah. Dry them tomorrow. I'll dry, I'll dry them on the line. Yeah. Mmm. I'm not happy with that. That is much too tight and the whole lot's turning. These are... Mm, not happy with that at all. Try a bit of oil on it. See, it's caught there, you see, and I'm not sure that shouldn't be touching it anywhere there, though. See, I don't want the whole thing rotating. That's better. That's got it. Just needed a bit of oil because because that's come loose slightly. Now, if I put the top on, there, put the clip on. Should I say not the top? There we go. See that. That's perfect now. There we go, and that's in its rest position. There we go. There we go. Now.
See, this was bought to do this job because the length of the wire for the motor so that you could trim it down to the length you need it. I mean, I could strip this all down, but there's not really any need. There really isn't. Clean the velocity trip. Give that push pad a bit more of a clean. There we go. I could strip this down completely but there isn't really any great need to do that. I mean I may I may actually take this off because it's just on hooks here. So I may take that off because that just comes out there and Clean all that. It's not four o'clock yet, is it? No, it's not four o'clock yet. I'll see you later on deck. Yeah. I'll come back from that four. What time are you going out? I'm going out at uh, five o'clock. Before you going at six? No. Five. Oh. Right. There we go. Give that a good clean. Get cloth on it. Wipe off the residue. And it's get that under there. Just wipe off this. There we go. Now all I need to do is just move that to there for a second make sure that we're clean and we are put a bit more put some new grease on that not a lot there we go and lift that up and go get a bit on there there we are Ooh. Someone's just flown in, it better not be a wasp. Because I don't like wasps. Don't like wasps, the fucking bastards sting you. Bit like the British government. Somewhat buzzing around here. I hate buzzy things. There's few things that fucking even sting and bite. Clean all that because we're going to lubricate all that. Clean the speed mechanism. Check the speed mechanism. It works, it does. Now what we'll do Hmm You haven't seen a finger that have you? There we go. Right. Go 
get the grease. There we go. the pivot points put some grease a little bit on there a little bit in there so that it rolls nicely there we go perfect bit in there just past that spring we can just get to it there we go there we are and that's it flip it back the right way Finish my Kit Kat, see what time it is. The rubber grommets are still good on this. bit of oil on the idler shaft there we go we're gonna be too much so we'll lift a bit off there we are and then Drop that on. Make sure my fingers are relatively clean. Well, the idler will be getting clean anyway. Get the clip. Hasn't taken much to service this, has it? Right, what I'm going to do now, folks, I'm going to show you how to open a banana like a boss. Very easy. You notice if you look at a monkey, if you try to open a banana that way, it's difficult. But you look at any monkey, they always open the banana upside down, look. Because it's a lot easier, because you just get it there, look, and look how simple that is. Opening a banana. That's how you open a banana like a boss, easily. I mean, people say I don't eat fruit. Well, you're not my witness. You just see me scoff a banana.
clean all these pins, these steps even, so that we give the idler a final, final clean, make sure that we've got nothing on there. It's a good idler this. There we are, that'll do. I mean when you clean the nightly you're always gonna get something because the IPA reacts with the rubber. So you always take a bit of rubber with it. Now that needs to come off, but I can deal that. I'll do with that a different date. Let's give the take that out of there. We don't want to find out why our thing is jammed. And then realise that we've got a cotton bud stuck in there, do we? So what we'll do next, we'll give this a clean. I've not put the oil away yet because as you all know I always drop a bit down the spigot just give that a bit of a wipe out there that's good enough right drop a bit of oil down the, the old spigot. Give it a couple of drops because it's got to do both both the top and bottom bearings. Give that a spin. Wipe that bit of grease off there. There we go. That should spin for ages. Let's take the excess oil off. A bit of grease out of there, there we go. Look at that. Right. Look how, look how smooth that is. Just check the idler. The way I check them is to make sure that you can't turn the turntable backwards. You should be able to on 78 and 45. But on... Yeah, that's good enough. And then what you do when you put, come to put the clip in... These clips go a certain way. There's a hole there and the hole goes to the top. And it goes into the groove there. And it just pushes down. <coughs> and locks into place. Now the beauty ring on these. They're not really that hard to put back in. They're just, they're just a press fit. So what we'll do, we'll push that so that it smooths out all the way down. There we are. And that's your beauty ring back in. There you are. Now what we need to do. Find the centre spindle. We have got the auto change spindle. But that's down there somewhere. So we'll put the centre spindle. The single play centre spindle back in. And it should. There we are. Go that way. Now we'll try the automatic mechanism, we'll try it for 12 inch, doesn't matter about the speed, 
Oops. We'll try it for 12 inch. And I will stop the arm. 12 inches working. We'll now try it. 10 inch. And it turned off because. going to go to 12. Oh no it's going to 10 that's correct. And now we want 7 inch and it does and then records played arm comes back and Make sure to keep the control arm down. Making those switches off. I'll check the wires under the cartridge. We're looking good. Probably need a new stylus in there, but that's not a great issue. We'll, we'll get that done at some point. <laughs> now the adjustments. I'll quickly take you through the adjustments. Not many on this. Uh, we'll start off with the stylus pressure. Stylus pressure is adjusted by. Actually, I don't think you can adjust the stylus pressure on this. No, you can't. Nope. You can't adjust the stylus pressure on this. What it is is what you get. Because that screw in the top there. Is for the height that screw there is for the height that screw there is for the set down point so you don't let's bring you in a bit closer see there's your stylus there's your hat there's your stylus uh, set down point screw uh, they are made so you can turn them by hand and if we look under the arm, you can see you just got your spring there with one hole. Uh, that's not adjustable on this model. What you get is what you're given. But it should be about five grams, four or five grams. And that screw in the top there is for the height. So don't adjust that thinking it's stylus pressure, because it ain't. I would imagine they use a specially calibrated spring and we'll, we'll actually check the stylus pressure just get the stylus get the scales the stylus scales out and we'll have a look I said four grams yeah let's see how right I actually am I said four grams I've got a dot right in the middle of this. I said four grams, or did I say five? It's actually 3.47. So, yeah, but by the time we're down there, it'll be about four grams. So, four grams, which is what this cartridge uses, needs to see. Shove that back in the drawer. That's the stylus scale out of the way. <clears throat> Put this cotton bud back in the packet because it never got used. Put that back up there out of the way. And won't go back up there now. Let's put it that one. Go there. Right, and this needs a clean. It's had uh, it's had a dust bug on it at some point, but that's not the paint looks as though it's cracked there. That's no problem. Uh, we're going to clean all this. It'll get polished, and uh, this is the uh, this is the the uh, 
Garad. Three thousand. Out, out of the old, out of the old brew record player. <coughs> and yeah, you never got any. They didn't give you a queuing device on this. Uh, this model. You had to wait for the 2525, I think, to get one of those. The 2025, sorry, to get one of those. It did have this dopey thing on it, though. Which is made by Decker. And that is for lifting. And that is for lifting a tone arm or something. But I mean, it's. Not bad that actually. it feels damped as well. I don't think it is though. But that's for yeah. Somebody put that on, but we're not gonna be refitting that. It was fitted to the plinth with the motor board, we're not gonna be fitting that. And uh it's not done bad. Let that spin, there we go, look at that. That's how it should be. I mean, there's a bit of noise there. But. I mean, that's running at normal speed. You don't hear that. And I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, the way that's turned out. Uh, it's another job well done. Uh, I'm going to go and have my brew and move some of this junk so that I can get back to the computer and thank you very much for watching and uh, join me for the next one. Bye for now folks. <laughs>